Hey guys, welcome to this Rugby Bricks passing session. We are about to get through 10 exercises. The first exercise is front on wrist flick and we're going to start in our right hand. For this drill we have both hands on the rugby ball. I like to have a slightly fatter grip so we're more around the belly of the ball. This way I can create power from both my back hand and also my front hand. We can use our front thumb in this drill to create more energy and power and also create some more spin on the ball. So make sure you're feeling that pressure through your front thumb. With all our follow throughs today, we want to be looking through our fingertips towards the target with our palms facing down towards the ground. We are now doing the exact same exercise on the left hand side. We quite often have a hand that isn't as strong or as powerful and that's why it's important to get through these reps so that both hands are just as strong as each other. For these first couple of reps I want you to focus on shooting those hands towards the target. Even if the rugby ball isn't in a beautiful tight spiral, I want you to focus on your follow through, shoot those hands through the target and finish strong. Now I want you to focus on that right thumb. So for a left-handed pass, our right thumb is going to add power to the front of the ball and really help the ball spin well. So bring a little bit more pressure through your right thumb. When passing the rugby ball, we just want to be using our fingertips. So make sure the ball isn't touching our palms. We are now going into one of my favourite passing drills, the pistol drill. Now the starting point for this is just outside and at the same height as your belly button. Depending on the size of your hands will change where we actually have our hand placed on the ball. If you have got larger hands and can grip the ball you can be slightly more up the back. If you do have smaller hands you need to be under the ball. Just make sure we don't set the ball outside our body. We still want to be just to the right of our belly button. For these next few passes I want you to really focus on storing some energy before you've passed the ball. So in our right bicep and right pec we can store that energy, store that power and put it through the ball. Let's try it out on these next few reps. We are now getting into the pistol drill on that left hand side. For this set I really want you to focus on the grip on the ball. Make sure that your fingertips are powerful and you're really strong before passing the ball. We can really win the power in the pass by turning our hand over and really getting into our follow through. So by having our palm down in the follow through, we're going to use that tricep extension and get a lot more energy behind the ball. For these next few passes, really focus on turning that follow through over, finishing strong and looking through those fingertips. Same as we did on our right hand side, let's bring some more power and energy from our left bicep and left pec before passing the ball. Let's make these last few reps really quality, make everyone count.
We are now progressing into side-on pistol drill. Your offhand is already in the follow-through position and the starting point for the ball is just to the right of the belly button. Now that we're in that side-on position, let's really use our core and also chest energy to put that through the rugby ball. The key is to stop the follow-through on our target and not let that energy flow out or over-rotate throughout the pass. For our upper half of our body to be really strong through the pass, we need our lower half to be on and taking energy through the ground. Just like when you set up to squat, let's be in a strong position for each of these reps. Take your time with each of these reps, don't rush things, quality over quantity. It's important to take this 15 second break to reset the body, reset the brain so that we can bring quality reps in the next 60 seconds. Next up, side on pistol drill on your left side. On all your passes, really focus on taking a direct line from your starting point through to the target. If we're taking the ball around our body or dipping the ball, it's just slowing down our transfer. So really train the body, get that muscle memory from the starting point, a direct line through to our follow through. If you can do one push up, you've got enough strength in your upper body to pass the rugby ball. So. Trust your upper body, trust your technique, get that ball through to target. Let's bring a lot of energy from our core and our chest for these next few passes. Really throw your chest and stop it on that follow through. All the power is coming from our core. Be strong, look through that follow through. We have two hands on the rugby ball now and we're passing from our front hip. This is going to be a right hand pass. The key to this drill is focusing on how much strength and power we can get from our forearms, our wrists and our fingertips. Remember to have that slightly fatter grip on the ball, so around the belly of the ball. This is going to allow us for not only our back end, but also our front hand to put energy through the rugby ball. Really focus on that front thumb, and again, finish strong, look through those fingertips. Keep focusing on shooting those hands through to target from that starting position to the follow through position as fast as you can. We are looking for 100% power but we're also looking for 100% technique so relax those shoulders and allow your body to pass the rugby ball. Same drill from that front hip but we're passing with our left hand side. This drill does feel a little bit awkward and a little bit jammed up but it is helping us with our fast transfer spiral pass. Remember on this left hand spiral pass to really use our right thumb to create energy through the front of the ball. Keep that nose up and get that beautiful spiral on the ball. Last few reps on this side, let's really nail our follow throughs. I want to see your best follow through on these next few reps.
We are now passing from our back hip. Because of the drills we've already done, our body's primed to throw some really powerful passes. Enjoy these next few reps. With all this power now coming from our back hip, through our core, through our bicep, through our pec, we need to control it in the follow through. Get those hands shooting, but make sure that we're stopping on that target, looking through our follow through, and being really strong in that position. Sometimes when we try to throw a really powerful pass, we dip the nose of the ball at the starting point. If we keep that nose up, the ball is going to fly better, but also be much easier to catch for the recipient. Last few reps, let's make them powerful and pretty. Left hand side from that back hip. I really want you guys to load up that energy in your bicep and your pec pre-pass. Keep shooting those hands through to target. Remember, take that direct line from the starting position through to your follow through. Last few passes, let's bring the heat. Smashed it team, keep showing up, keep working on your skills every day. Remember that the professionals have just done the same reps, the same hours of these exact same drills. Keep out working, keep out learning, and I'll see you back here passing tomorrow.